Hello everyone, this is Yamin and welcome to LiveWire tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can delete data using LiveWire. So in the previous tutorial, I showed you how you can display data in LiveWire and I made a table for displaying the data and in this tutorial, uh, we'll have a delete option over here and if we click the delete option, it will delete the data without reloading or refreshing our page. So let's go back to our code and uh, here you can see that uh, I created table over here, name, email, and image. And in the for each loop, I showed the name, email, and image. So here, uh, this is the table header. So here we are going to mention a, a th table header and let's say here delete. And in this for each loop, we are going to mention a, another td over here. And inside this td, we will mention a anchor tag. And inside this anchor tag, we are going to say delete. So right now if we save it, then if we refresh here, here you can see we have a delay option over here right now. So right now we'll write some code to delete data in LIBOR. So here in LIBOR, we do not require to use href. So here in LIBOR, we're going to say over here, OR click. OR click means uh, if someone click on this, then we'll do something. It means we are going to call a function and uh, let's say our function name will be delete student and we'll give to first bracket so right now uh, we need to mention that which data we want to delete and uh, here you can see that we have a lot more lot of data over here and, and every data has a unique id over here you can see so we need to send the specific id for a specific delete button so uh, how can can we do it that is really simple here you can see we can get the name just like this we can also get the id as well so in this two first bracket we'll just paste it over here and stop name we are going to show our here id so right now let's save it and this time uh kindly go in the store student.blade.php so this time we'll go to our store student.php which is uh inside the http library this one okay so here we are going to write this function delete student. So here we we'll just say over here public function delete student. Let me just copy this on control C control V. We'll give two first bracket then two second bracket and here inside this we are going to cache the ID right. So we'll just say over here dollar ID. So whatever ID we are sending from here will be received over here and then we'll just declare a variable let's say dollar data equal to here we are going to mention our model name or table name and here you can see you, you also need to mention the model name at the top as well so here equal to we'll say student double clone find to first bracket dollar id so we'll first find the id and then we'll just show our here dollar data this arrow sign delete so right now let's save it over here and here you can see in the anchor tag href we cannot keep href for library we only need to keep our click so let's save it over here as well and let's refresh here and right now let's say we want to delete this data so uh, since we remove the href so the hand icon is gone but the delete should still work so here you can see there is no hand sign over here as you can see because we remove the href so let's just say over here style and we'll say here cursor clone pointer so let's save it then let me just refresh again and here you can see there is now the hand sign over here so right now if i just click over here here you can see nothing happened but the data is actually deleted because in library it doesn't refresh so if i just go to our database table and if i refresh over here here you can see there is on less data over here so right now obviously this isn't the solution if i refresh here here you can see that data is gone so uh, what we'll do is that here after deleting the data we want to reload the data so for that case uh, here you can see in the mount function we send this student data all the student data over here to show so what we'll do is that after deleting the data we'll just say over here dollar this arrow sign mount we'll just call the mount function and it will reload our view over here without refreshing over here okay 
so all you have to do is that you need to call this mount function over here and that's all so let's save it again let's refresh here and this time let's say we want to delete this data if i click delete here you can see the data is gone without refreshing the page and if i go to my data table and reload there you can see only two data is available over here so this is how you can delete data in library i hope this tutorial was easy and useful to you and i will actually really appreciate if you subscribe to my channel so thanks again for watching stay tuned and stay healthy